it's important to note that whether it be at the personal and family level or even at the national and international scale, it is both important and evident. In China's old legends, we can see the importance of the once the story is out of the six foot boundary, one day a person decided to build a wall that stood on his neighbor's land. This neighbor did not want to fight, so he told his son to concede three feet. In turn, the person felt embarrassed that his wall would be approaching his neighbor's land. As a result, he decided to concede three feet of land as well. Therefore, a six foot boundary emerged between the two neighbors. A small encounter allowed a, a cooperative agreement. Another story of small concessions was the story of the black sheep and white sheep, which showed that through compromise the greater goal could be achieved. Two sheep confronted each other on a bridge and were faced with two choices, either to fight and so that both would fall or, one, or, for, or to back up and allow one or the other to go, a peaceful win-win situation. The Chinese word Li consists of two characters. The character on the left is a table used to pray. The character on the right is a container used with offering things. Now we can watch how these two separate parts add together the traditional and simplified characters in these two animations. In our daily lives, we can experience lead. For example, in sports competitions, we can see athletes use the form we see before the use of force to promote sport vision. When a person gives you a gift, it's considered common courtesy to return the favor. Likewise, there's a Chinese philosophy that advocates the sentiment, courtesy has no price. In other words, it's a thought that counts. One way to express courtesy is by giving gifts. It's not matter how expensive or extravagant the gift is. But into choosing the gift that really makes the difference. Uh, though Chinese and Westerners both share the sentiment of gift giving, uh, as you saw in our short video, it's important to know the respective customs of each culture. Uh, if you do not, you may unintentionally offend someone. See no evil, hear no evil, say no evil, and do no evil. Due to cultural misunderstandings, many conflicts can occur. For example, the war in Iraq. Suicide bombings in Afghanistan. Oh. The invention of the nuclear bomb and a very famous current event is the reporter throwing a shoe at former president George W. Bush. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs>